Hey everyone, Pastor Tim here from the Church at West Shore. Welcome to our daily devotion and prayer time for this Tuesday. And we are in Deuteronomy chapter 4. God tells us beginning in verse 1. And now, Israel, listen carefully to these decrees and regulations that I am about to teach you. Obey them so that you may live, so you may enter and occupy the land that the Lord, the God of your ancestors, is giving you. Do not add to or subtract from these commands I am giving you. Just obey the commands of the Lord your God that I am giving you. You saw for yourself what the Lord did to you at Baal Peor. There the Lord your God destroyed everyone who had worshipped Baal, the God of Peor. But all of you who were faithful to the Lord your God are still alive today, every one of you. Look, I now teach you these decrees and regulations just as the Lord my God commanded me so that you may obey them in the land you are about to enter and occupy. Obey them completely, and you will display your wisdom and intelligence among the surrounding nations. When they hear all these decrees, they will exclaim, how wise and prudent are the people of this great nation. For what great nation has a God as near to them as the Lord our God is near to us whenever we call on him? And what great nation has decrees and regulations as righteous and fair as this body of instructions that I am giving you today. But watch out, be careful, never to forget what you yourself have seen. Do not let these memories escape from your mind as long as you live, and be sure to pass them on to your children and grandchildren. Never forget the day when you stood before the Lord your God at Mount Sinai, where he told me, summon the people before me and I will personally instruct them. Then they will learn to fear me as long as they live, and they will teach their children to fear me also. You came near and stood at the foot of the mountain while flames from the mountain shot into the sky. The mountain was shrouded in black clouds and deep darkness, and the Lord spoke to you from the heart of the fire. You heard the sound of his words, but didn't see his form. There was only a voice. He proclaimed his covenant, the Ten Commandments, which he commanded you to keep, and which he wrote on two stone tablets. It was at that time that the Lord commanded me to teach you his decrees and regulations so you would obey them in the land you are about to enter and to occupy. So Moses is speaking, obviously, here to the children of Israel. Moses has been uh, informed by God once again that he would not enter the promised land. He was allowed to see it, but he was not going to be allowed to enter into it because of his sin. But God was still using Moses as his mouthpiece, as his uh, his instructor, his teacher for the children of Israel. And he gives them not just the Ten Commandments, but the decrees and the the regulations, the the rules, if you will, for Israel to follow. And some would look at these things and say, wow, how oppressive that is. But we have to look at it from a different viewpoint, and that is the viewpoint that God desires for his people to live their optimum lives, the lives that will allow them to be the most fruitful and to accomplish his will most effectively. And so the rules and the, the regulations that God gives, both in the Ten Commandments and throughout Scripture, are not to... Uh, put a thumb on us and hold us down, but they are to free us. They are to help us to live this life with the the most understanding that when we live according to God's plan, while life is never going to be perfect, things seem to have a little more cohesion, a little more um, positive impact than what they would otherwise. So, our takeaway for today is simply this. Let's look at the, the things that God has said for us to do and to not do a little bit different. Let's not look at them as, boy, God just doesn't want me to do anything. He only wants me to do this and this and this. Let's look at Adam as God knows what's best. And if I will follow his rules, his regulations, his decrees, his commandments, then life will be much better for me and for those around me. Let's pray together. Father, thank you for your word. 
thank you for the words that you gave Moses and what we are about to hear throughout this wonderful book of Deuteronomy, Lord, that you gave the children of Israel. Help us all, Lord, today to follow your decrees, to understand that they are not oppressive. They are for our own good, for the optimum life that we um, want to live and that you desire for us to live. And we pray this in the name of Jesus. Amen. Well, I trust you have a terrific Tuesday. Until next time, and as always, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May his face shine upon you. May he be gracious to you and give you peace. And may you fall just a little bit deeper in love with Jesus today. Take care. God bless you.